Velma ladies, ladies taking taking on the Greater Sydney Rams. Of course, the Greater Sydney Rams part of the Build Corp NRC competition. This is the female version of that. They go by the catch cry of Rugby Unleashed. And of course, the Horned Army out there, if you're listening in, uh, your girls are playing on Twitter. Tune in. So it looks like the New Zealand side in black will be kicking off against the Rams side playing in the blue today, the blue and the green. Of course, Molly, you know, you've had a bit to do with some of these Rams players. Yeah, I've come across uh, come across a few of them over the last couple of years and played with them. So there's uh, Nita Maynard out there. She played for the Wallaroos last year at the in the World Cup over in France. And then you've got... Uh, Can't even see. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> we'll put your bi vocals on and we'll get out there, of course. There's a lot of tribe girls out there, which is good. It's unfortunate that they couldn't come down for this. They usually dominate at these sort of to tournaments. Yeah, they're one of the favourites yeah. to watch as well. They they certainly play an exciting brand as the Rams now get on the outside. She's got plenty of pace. We've seen that through other tournaments throughout the year. But she's taken nicely as they scramble the New Zealand side. That was Broughton there too. Now they'll receive a penalty right in front of their post. This will get them out of their danger end. They're just going to take the quick tap here. Look for the support. There it is. Running around. That's the thing from New Zealand. They don't die wondering, do they? They love throwing it around and causing a little bit of havoc. And that's exactly what they do. They come down to the halfway line. The big in and away. She's got 30 to go. She's got 20 to go. Shut the gate. What a try by New Zealand under the post, Gareth Wozick. Shut the gate. The gate was shut a long time ago. She even closed it herself, Peter. And put the lock on it. That's right. The calves are chasing. And that is a good try there by Broughton. She light, lit up the game in the first game we witnessed here on this number one field. And she's lit it up again. Molly, what do you know about her? Not much, but from what I can see, she's got some wheels. <laughs> oh, want the to lights are on her. for New Zealand. Here's the kick from right in front. After two minutes, it's seven points to nil here on Bar TV. What yeah. about that explosive wow. start from the New Zealanders? Definitely explosive, so explosive. I thought we had to evacuate, Peter. Well, the glass in front of us nearly shattered. It did. I felt it shake. I ducked for cover. But that was your booming voice. <laughs> as the, the ball restarted there by the New Zealand 7 side, the development oh. squad. A few of these ladies actually in the, in the first team as well, so... Plenty of experience, plenty of depth. So here they go. <laughs> plenty happening here in the party box at the Central Coast 7. There's papers flying everywhere. The wind really has picked up. Penetrating glass as the ball, yeah, nicely spoiled by the Rams. Palmed off though. Here she is again. Broughton sets up her outside player and she's away. She's going to have too much pace. Tane it is. She's scored four for the tournament now. Tane, what a try. Yeah, sure was a good one. Tane in the space of the third, well, three minutes have been able to score twice here, Gareth. And, yeah, this uh, match looks a little bit uneven, but. Yeah, you never know. Funny Rams things have very, happened. The, the Rams side, very good at attack, but. I mean, they are definitely giving up a bit of size, and that's always going to be a struggle matching up man on, or person on person. And they are coming up against the number one team in the world, so... <laughs> the number one team's development team. Yes, well, there are a couple of girls out there, though. Let's see if they can bring this one around with the breeze. 20 metres in. No, missed it. Missed it. So Not kicking hasn't been... The best out here today, but the tries have been exciting to watch. And that's what you love here at the Central Coast Sevens. Of course, our major sponsor in 2015.
One of them is the University of Newcastle, the UON. Where would we be without the University of Newcastle? And, of course, we can't go without I, I saying... I'd be, Peter. I'd in be, the probably co- be a carpenter somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Not getting my degree. As the, the ball restarted. It's going out. Oh, they've taken the ball out on the full. Yeah, so that'll go to halfway. She did well. To be aware of her sideline and took the ball. Near the change rooms and also under the main announcers booth there. So make sure if you've got your water, come down and fill it up and keep hydrated so we don't want anybody... Yeah, yeah, we so they'll got, go to halfway. Yeah, he's got the ground announcer actually saying to everybody, fill up your water bottles because we're just getting an indication right now, Gareth, it's 26 degrees. Well, the temperature's dropped, Pete. It has. It was 37 when we started at 10 o'clock. So here they go. The Rams, they look very good with ball in hand. Of course, they do play plenty together, this Rams side. Well drilled. Oh, God. One of the best Sydney sides going round, and now they spread the ball wide. Well, nicely taken, though, by Tui Tui, also scoring a couple of tries in the first match we witnessed here on the number one ground. Oh, good hit in the middle. You can feel the impact cool. up in the that stand, was, can't she you? She breaks free and gets a ball. Oh. She drops that line, was open. I think she would have had the pace, Molly. Yeah, I think she would have. She's actually um, a ballerina, that one there. Patricia? Aren't we <laughs> Fun all? Fun fact about her. Aren't we all? Uh, you, I don't think so. <laughs> you haven't seen him on a Saturday night at Fanny's. I don't think I want to. Which is a nightclub in Newcastle. I don't no. even think it's open anymore. It's the Argyle House now. I can pirouette with the best of them. I can pirouette with the best of them. You should see me on my tiptoes. Got nothing. As the ball comes out. Referee not happy with that one going in. Of course, UON, Central Coast Sevens, visit NewSouthWales.com and the Wyong Shire Council supporting this great event. Of course, CFM getting behind it on the coast. Like to rock out with the tunes. Tune in to CFM. Quick tap taken offside. Dances away, looking to set up her outside numbers. She probably doesn't have to as she gets away. The little good step inside ball. And that's as good as you'll see anywhere in this tournament. She's not going to get there. She's got support on the outside. Palming, dancing. Can't get it away. Well done there, Rams. Tane just couldn't get to the line. So they throw the long speculator out wide. They've got numbers. The hooter goes inside. Doesn't give the ball. Should have given the ball. Tui, she's strong. But she's pulled down five out. And the Rams, they come up with, they come over. And it's going to be a penalty for diving over. They take the tap. And they're going to go with Oh, what about this? Can they offload, Gareth? They may not need to offload. Manuel gets a try. Man, well, man, Oh, well. look at her go. She was another one that was very strong in the first game we witnessed, and that was a good lead-up. I thought they could have scored three or four times, but they get there in the end as the siren goes. 17 to nil. Are they about to add another few points going into the break? So what do the Rams have to do to get back in this match, Molly? Score points. Here's the kick <laughs> from right in front of the post. Here's it. Let's see if they can do it. Gareth, oh, no. Molly, yeah. Well, what do they have to do? Just put the first half out of their mind and start fresh? Or? Yeah, nil all. Nil all. Start again. Just, you know, I think their defence was really good then, but I think just in attack they need to sort of hold on to the ball, muscle down and just go straight through them. Well, it's easier said than done. Straight through them. I know, I know, I know that's in your game with the big palms swatting them off left and right. That 83 kilos of mine. <laughs> but the Rams, they're giving away a little bit up the middle. They probably need to toughen up and straighten up around that, that midfield. Not marking up. Maybe, maybe committing too many around that, that breakdown area. Pete? What would I do if I was out there? Yeah, that's what I'd do. We've, we've got to go to you now. What would you do? What would Pete do? What would I do? I'd probably run for the touchline and keep going. <laughs> <laughs> out of town all the, all the way back to Hamilton. There we are. Live shot from the back of the box. Molly in the middle. Gareth on the left. Our producers on the left and right. Ducking everywhere. Doing a great job for us here at Bar TV. 
all the work that goes into a broadcast like this, Pete. Well, there we go. That's our monitor that we uh, capture the vision on. That's our bird's eye view of the uh, grandstand on the other side and the field in the middle of it. Of course, good product placement there by Molly. <laughs> Getting the sponsors. If you do go to Rio, Molly, what airline will you be flying with? Qantas. <laughs> <laughs> Check your bags. I'm <laughs> So back here for the second half here, ladies and gentlemen. 17 points to nil. It'll be the Rams kicking off, Pete. So they'll be giving the ball away, and they're giving up quite a bit on the scoreboard by 17 points. Coming up to 6 o'clock in New Zealand. So all the families be home watching this, having their dinner as we get the play underway for the second half. Oh, well done, Rams. They really got... And hustled for that ball, so they'll have a good chance, good opportunity here to attack and hit back. This could be a comeback of epic proportions here at Maury Marine Oval. But no, it's not to be. Referee says double knock on. So, how many tournaments are you guys playing in the lead up? Molly, because I know you've already qualified for the for the Rio tournament. Uh, I think this is our no, this is our last one before the series starts again. Yeah, so this is this is pretty much it, really. And this then you go it. into the series. We've got our six uh, six tournaments, and then a bit of a break, and then off to the Olympic. Well, not a break actually, sort of knuckle down a bit more, and then off to the Olympics. It's all going as easy as that. Oh, I wouldn't really <laughs> call it easy. <laughs> sound, you make it sound so easy. <laughs> Oh, quick tap taken. She's got good footwork. We know that. She's electric. She's fast. There's support on the outside. Uses it. Goes wide. Will she have the pace? She may do. No, she doesn't. Tane again on that wing. She's so safe for the New Zealand side. But here come the Rams. Up the middle. Taken back. Oh, good offload. Knocked on there by the New Zealand side. So Morrow putting it down for New Zealand. Again, the Rams. Attacking this try line. But they looked better there, though, didn't they, the Rams? I thought for a moment if they could have spin it back to the left-hand side, there could have been a gap that it sort of fell apart in the middle of the park. But uh, let's see what they can do here with this. seeing the scrum pack down around 15 metres out from the New Zealand line. Let's see what they've got up their sleeve here. Yeah, definitely. I think they'll go to the, sh the left side here. Oh, good scrum, though, by New Zealand. They won't get the opportunity as they come through. Penalty to the Rams, says the referee. I don't know about that, Molly. I do not know. I kind of don't know what happened then. <laughs> well, they came over the ball. I thought, if anything, it was a New Zealand penalty. But anyway, Rams with another opportunity. Great ball out wide. Here's a chance. Oh, she goes without it. The line was open. So now it'll be a New Zealand feed. And that was the best opportunity there in the match for the Rams. So let's see what New Zealand can do now. They can score from anywhere on the park, Molly. They can. All they've got to do is get it out to their fast skills on the wing and they'll just take off, I reckon. Tui and Tane. They're certainly here to play. Definitely. I think they're here to win. <laughs> I think everyone is. Rugby's the winner on the day, Molly. It's a, it it's is. Nice. Rugby is the winner. That was beautiful. <laughs> did you come up with that? I don't know if I did. But <laughs> maybe it's just the way I say things from the soul, Molly, it as is. the ball comes out. <laughs> so they're going to use the far wing at Tane. It is. She dummies. She jinks, she goes, she's got plenty of pace, but the Rams do well to round her up. Inside, netball-like pass. We've seen a bit of that from the men's and the women's today, the unorthodox passing, which is encouraged, of course, in this sevens format. You like to keep the ball alive. What's the, what's the furthest you've scored a try from, Molly? 90 out? No. <laughs> I don't think I could make 90. Oh, I don't know. Maybe maybe 50? 50. That's, that's impressive. And then I think I had to go for a sub after that. Subway? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Six inch? Yeah. 
I'm a 12 inch man. The ball comes through. Can't afford that. <laughs> As the ball comes through, yeah, penalty there by the referee. Well deserved. The Rams dragging that one out. So again, what can they do? Little pocket dynamite here. Great on a feet. Jinx. Taken nicely. The New Zealand side all over the ball, though, and they come up with it. Yeah, penalty, but they did win the ball, however. Maybe would have liked to see them play on, free play, but... Yeah, here she is, Tane. She's got plenty of pace, tries to palm off, but the cover defence was there. So now they'll go back to the left, inside, stepping. Oh, bumps one off. Good devastating run up the middle there. It looks like they're struggling here to consolidate this ball. Well done, Rams. They're coming through on the ball. Definitely making it difficult here for this New Zealand side. Quick hit. Oh, look at that hit. That is from the smallest player on the field, on one of the biggest. But the New Zealand side still going. And here they go. It's only a matter of time as the ball turned inside to Tui. Tui will go. And Tui held up. Gets the ball away, and that's a try. Brazier. Kelly Brazier. Praise you, Kelly Brazier. Look at that. Beautiful stuff there Not by a, her. Right, Moby. Thank you, Gareth <laughs> Wozik. We got that's... Moby. Moby's in the box. Praise you like I would. Oh, sure. Yeah, it's all going around the stadium to the music zone. We've got a game. New Zealand loving this. 22 nil over the Rams. And uh, here's the kick. Hasn't missed that many today. This is probably one of her easiest kicks. Kicking into the southerly. Looks okay off the boot. It's an absolute ripper. 24 zilt as we go in towards half to full time. Well, that was a great defensive effort there by the Rams. They sucked it up for, I guess, the better part of the half. And, and they do well there. But the New Zealand side just too well drilled and too strong, Molly. Yeah, I think uh, second half, they definitely brought it. They're, um, yeah, they've, they've come fighting back, which is good. It's unlucky that they haven't uh, put any points on the board, though. Yeah, definitely looming. They had a couple of opportunities, but you, you can Choked see a now. Bit. The New Zealand side, they, they've switched back on here. Oh, oh nicely taken. Catch. That is body on the line stuff. No one came near go. it. So they have one more penalty, one more play here as the Hooter sounds. Quick tap taken. Comes out. Player of the match so far. Here she is again. Nice. Nicely done. She draws and passes well, but just didn't come into the hole. Ooh, flicks it out the bottom of the legs. Now the New Zealand side have it. Knock on, play on, says the referee. So let's see what the New Zealand side can do now. Gail Broughton's out wide. Should be tough to stop if, she, if they get the ball to her. Popped up the middle, stepping. Morrow it was, getting a ball away. So here's Tui on the outside. Draw and pass will do it. Tui has it. Can she get around her player? Yes, she can. Tui will score after the siren. And what a good try that is. Tui. Gee whiz, she's loving this, isn't she, this afternoon? Not a first try, of course. And uh, easy one, too, for her. Just a matter of collecting the ball and putting it down. And she made it look so easy. Made it look too easy, Pete. As they shake hands now. And it was a good match. The scoreline does not re reflect the effort, Molly. It does not. It does not. It would have been good to see Rams get a couple of points up there. Well, the Aussie Pearls are our next clash. This is what we came to see. Against and the this Blazers. Is, this is why we've got Molly in the commentary box as well. <laughs> Call the poor Pearls home. Yeah. <laughs> Versus the, the Nardi Blazers. 